welcome back. So today I'm back for a video to show you guys my main favourites. I hope you guys will like this video. I'm first going to talk about skincare stuff. The first skincare stuff that I wanted to talk about is Bio Oil. Oh, um, I've been using this quite a lot. It's coming down a little bit. I don't, I haven't been really using it on my stretch marks because I'm so lazy, but I've been using it on my face a lot and I don't really see any results to be honest. It does say like to wait a, a, like three months and use it twice a day, which I obviously don't do. I use it every day, morning and night. So I do use it twice a day. Yeah, so I use it morning and night, but some days I skip because I don't want oil on my face, but I just feel like how it feels on the skin and it smells really, really nice as well. So I really, really hope that it evens out my skin tone because I've seen girls who use this on their face. They just have such flawless skin. So I'm just, I'm just eager to see if this will even out my mouth area, my skin tone. And I still yet have to use it on my stretch marks, but it's just so, so much hassle, like... Especially where my stretch marks are, like I literally look like a zebra on my behind my thighs. Like that's the where that's where I have the most stretch marks. It's I have like such big stretch marks. I don't even know where it comes from. I think it's because when I was younger I had I was kinda overweight and then I got to a point where I was really skinny and then I got to a point where I'm kind of like a bit I've gotten a bit more weight and I feel like that weight change has caused me to have such big, deep stretch marks. So to be honest, I really don't know if I would ever, ever be able to get rid of them. I've just learned to just deal with them. But if I do have the chance to get like maybe laser, because I've seen some girls do laser and it looks quite promising, but it probably does cr like cost a lot of money. But maybe one day I'll try that. But I'm gonna try my best and see if I can use this every day. Most, I'm just so lazy, but I should be using it. Okay, I will try to use it as much as I can, but I've been loving it for my face. It just feels really, really nice, and it smells really nice, so yeah, I've been using this a lot on my face. The next skincare product that I've been using a lot lately is the Bobbi Brown Face Cream, Hydrating Face Cream. Now, I've gone through this, like, so much. It just smells very nice, and it feels luxurious on your skin. I don't know if you can see, but I've literally gone through this, like, so bad. It's, like, it's halfway through already. Now, this now this is more on the pricey side, but as I said, I really want to, like, start investing in my skincare because my makeup won't go on on my skin properly if my skin is not properly taken care of. So I've been wanting to, like, spend more money on skincare rather than makeup. That's why I am... Um, I don't know. I try to balance it out, but lately I do want to buy more skincare products especially the higher end ones because seriously this is amazing like it's it just sits on the skin so nicely and it feels like you're at the spa it does say it's enriched with mineral water and algae algae extract and i just love it i just it just feels so nice on the skin and i feel like it is helping my skin and it just hydrates my skin without being too heavy so yeah i've been loving this at the moment the Next skincare product is for my body and I've been using this Palmer's, Palmer's <laughs> Cocoa Butter Formula. This is in the spray version. The reason why I got this spray version is because I'm so lazy to moisturise my skin like I said. Um, this just makes it easy, like you just spray it and then you just wipe it on and it's just so much easier, especially for your legs. The only thing is, I don't know about, I'm not too sure about the smell, it doesn't really smell like the original cream because it has like this weird like after smell. I don't know if it's because of my body, it's how it's reacting to my body, but I do want to, I've been using the Vaseline brown one in this format and that one is really nice, but it's not as hydrating as this one. I feel like if you get a spray formula, it's not as hydrating as you can get in like a cream formula because obviously if they have more moisture if it's the thicker the moisturizer the harder it will come out of the thing so these moisturizers are quite light this is why i got the palms one so because i thought it would be quite hydrating which it is but i'm not too sure about the smell but yeah but i've still been using it a lot and i think it's so easy that's why i like to use it because it's just so easy to use my next favorite is a perfume and this is the lancome la vie belle absolute de parfum um this perfume it just smells amazing and I've got, been going through it quite fast actually but it just smells really nice and it's super the bottle's so super cute and it just it's quite it's like a sweet strong smell it just makes me think of France to be honest but it just smells so so nice so I've been loving this this month the last skincare item that I want to talk about is this Clinique all about eyes rich I think it's eye balm 
this is what it looks like and it comes in a little pot but seriously this has lasted me so so long because you need the tiniest amount and the reason why I like this is because it comes like in a much thicker formula so it, it absorbs really nice you don't have to like rub it in for too long I just feel like it really hydrates my under eye and my eye area because sometimes it gets really dry and when I put concealer on it kind of shows through like it's quite patchy and dry so since I've been wearing this my concealer applies so much more smoother and yeah I've been liking this now on to makeup, I really really have to talk about this one because I think, I think I've just been talking about it so much, been bragging about it to everyone and it's the Milani 2 in 1 um, foundation, concealer foundation thingy. Um, I'm up to here with this foundation, like nearly nearly halfway. This is what it looks like and it just I just love the shade and everything about this foundation. If you look here, I'm up to here with the foundation so I've used like this much since I've got it. I've literally been using this every day. It's seriously such a good foundation. It, I'm wearing it now and it just fits my shade perfectly. It lasts all day, it doesn't make me dry, it doesn't sink into my smile line as much as other foundations do. And I just love it. it if you haven't tried this foundation, give it a go. I'll leave a link in the info box. Um, it's from eBay, I get it from. There's maybe another website that sells them, but I will link, leave some links down below. Definitely try this foundation, I think it's good for all skin types, maybe not for oily because it does kind of like grease up and it will not stop oil from coming out from your skin. But if you're like normal to dry, definitely try this out because it's amazing and I also have a foundation review on it so I'll, link a I'll leave a link to that as well in the info box. But yeah, definitely been loving this this month. The next thing that I want to talk about which I was quite surprised about was this eye primer by The Balm Cosmetics. This is what it looks like, um, it comes in a little tube, it actually came for free in my the new tube palette and I think it's put a lid on it, shadow primer, eyelid primer. I am so so surprised about this primer because it literally does not, it just prevents creasing, it is so good, throughout the whole day there will be not one crease, it's crazy. I haven't been using it all the time because it's such a small like tester and I want to keep it for like special occasions. But it's so good, like, oh my god. You, and plus, it, you just need the tiniest amount to cover your whole eyelid. The only thing I would say is, you know how, like, you when you do eyeshadow looks, you want to create a clean canvas, like either a concealer or maybe, like, Soft Ochre by MAC. But this doesn't really have that. It's, very, it's clear, so your skin comes through. So maybe, like, eyeshadows don't come out as brighter. But I really don't care. I just pack the eyeshadow on and it works for me. But this literally prevents creasing whatsoever. So if you haven't tried this, definitely give it, give it a go if you're looking for a really, really good eye primer. Because I'm always on the lookout for good eye primers that literally do not make your eyeshadow crease one bit. Now, the next few products that I want to talk about are from Sigma. Now, these were sent to me by them, but very kindly enough. And, um, yeah, as you guys know, I always give my honest opinion about products. So, um, literally, I've been using this um, eyeliner and this eyeliner brush lately for my eyeliner. And it's seriously so, so good. So, this is what the eyeliner looks like. It's like a gel formula. And this is in the shade Wicked. And I use it with the brush... It's actually dirty right now, but it, I use it with this brush, and this is the E06 brush, um, and this is amazing for your eyeliner. I feel like if you're kind of struggling with your eyeliner, or if you're a beginner, um, this brush will help you master your wing eyeliner, because it's so thin and precise and flexible that you can literally, you can't go wrong with this eyeliner brush and the black eyeliner is so pigmented and creamy like it doesn't tug and it doesn't apply patchy um, it's really really good and I definitely recommend these um, and I've been using it non-stop if you do want to grab these I have a link in the info box and you have a promo code for 10% off um, so yeah if you're interested there'll be a link below the next makeup item that I wanted to talk about is this blush by number 7 and this is in the shade Coral Flush. Now I don't know if this is discontinued or not but I don't really wear blush that much. I don't know if you've realised through my like tutorials but I don't really wear blush that often. But now I've started to get into it and now I want to buy more blushes because it just, it just adds a little something. I'm wearing a bit today and I feel like it just adds that extra oomph to your cheeks and 
I'm getting obsessed. So I've been wearing this a lot. Um, I just need to buy more blushes because I feel like I don't really have that many, <laughs> to be honest. Another thing that I've been wearing non-stop this month is this Gerard Cosmetics Hydro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade 1995. Now you guys know I've been obsessed with the lipstick version, but this is like a whole nother level because it's just so easy to wear and it's just so natural. It makes your lips look plump. It make me. It make, actually makes my lips look like they're like they've got injections in because they make your lips look so plump and smooth. And I just I'm obsessed with them. So I definitely recommend this. Like this is the best liquid lipstick I've tried so far. But I haven't tried like Anastasia or Jeffree Star and all those kind of brands. But so far I've been loving these. It's like so good and it's only £11, it's not even that pricey in my opinion, so yeah, 1995 has been my favourite shade. So I thought I would talk about shows, like series, and the thing that I've been obsessed with lately is Game of Thrones. If you haven't watched Game of Thrones, I definitely recommend doing so or start it. The, like the first season is kind of boring. Um, that's what a lot of people say but if you just watch for it it gets so good because I remember when I started watching it I just kept seeing everyone rave about it and I just thought okay let me just try and watch it the first season was really boring I was gonna stop but then I just continued and now I'm literally obsessed and a lot of people have been obsessed with it and the episodes are so good um, I know like it's gonna be the holiday season so if you want to binge watch it like definitely do it because I've been pushing my brother to do it because I can't believe he hasn't even started watching it yet because it's so 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 good I've also been into Indian films like Bollywood films I've been watching um, so much and it just brings back like childhood memories of when I was little and there was always Indian Bollywood music in the background we would like dance around oh my god that would actually be such a good video to do like me reacting to old videos and me and my brothers dancing when we were little I have so much footage like my dad used to love filming us so maybe in the future I'll do that video because I think that would be really really fun to share those videos with you guys um, but yeah, I've been watching so many Indian movies. I, yesterday I watched Kabi Alvida Nakena. Now, guys, do not make fun of my Indian accent because I know I sound like some British person trying to speak Hindi and it's just ridiculous, but I'm trying here. I'm trying. <laughs> right now I'm watching, um, I'm re-watching Bajira Mastani and I'm obsessed with that film as well. So, and oh my God, Deepika looks so, so pretty. But anyways, those are my favorites for this month. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for coming by and always watching my videos and leaving such sweet comments. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button if you did enjoy this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Love you guys. Bye.